Nebraska Anglers here. What's up, guys? Uh, thought I'd do a quick little lure unbagging, if you will. Uh, went to Cabela's the day before the FSU game. Go Knowles. And uh, picked up four new lures and got it for under $10, so I'm really pleased with that. First off, I got two of the uh, Bandit Square Bills. One in the root beer color. Which has got an orange belly, which I'm going to kind of like this. And uh, a little bit darker, murkier water because uh, it's going to have that dark profile. But that orange belly should flash a little bit at him. So it might give him the chance to look like a bluegill. And then the next one I got is in the river bream color. Which I could use in a little bit of like a stained, maybe a little bit stained water. I can use it in clear or I can use it in murky because it has that blue for... And it's a darker silhouette for murky water. But it's also the same color as a bluegill for clear water. Um, I'm really pleased with both of these. I only paid a dollar ninety eight per thing, so two square bills for a dollar ninety eight, you can't really go wrong. Once again, they're bandits. Uh hooks are they're somewhat sharp. I'll probably replace them with uh either some trocar or some must add ones. I'm not sure. I'll see about that. Next I got some Gambler Ugly Otters in the watermelon red color. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my other video. I got some from uh, Tackle Warehouse, and I had a suggestion from the Antoine 24 about getting some watermelon red Ugly Otters, and I did. These ones were on sale for uh, $2.99, I think. But uh, once again, it comes in a pack of seven, and they are in four inch. But the thing that I love about Ugly Otters is how good this tail is. As you can see, it moves. It's really... The, he the tail is actually kind of heavy for a soft plastic part. And it's got a thin little joint that holds it together that gives it that nice action. Um, it does have a really nice garlic smell. And I've been told that uh, garlic not only helps like keep the fish longer, but it's supposed to hide the oils on our hands. So... I never really knew that. And then finally, I got Big Bite Baits Coontail Worms. Uh, it comes in a pack of seven, and they're four inches, four by, uh, 4.75 inches. And I got the Green Pumpkin Texas Red. Uh, lately, I've been a really good fan of the uh, Big Bite Baits. They've done wonders for me. And I've been reading up on this Coontail Worm, and heard about how good it is on shaky head I'm starting to do that a lot more so I'm going to throw that on it's got a uh, almost like a garlic slash anise smell to it, it smells pretty nice uh, it's somewhat greasy but the thing that's so good about this is the rivets on it because the water displacement works a lot and basically when you're going to stand it up like that on your shaky head it's going to wiggle around uh, a couple different brands have uh worms that look just like this. Some will be called like the swimming rattlesnake, but uh, I haven't really heard as many good reviews as I have for this. And kind of the reason why I got the uh, green pumpkin watermelon red, um, I haven't really necessarily heard good reviews about this color, but uh, I like green pumpkin colored lures, but then I also like a little bit of the red, so I'm thinking that maybe it'll sit here, they'll see this, and then I'll twitch it, and then maybe the red will flash at them. So, I'm really pleased with this. Uh, heard good reviews about it, but all in all, for under $10, I think it was a successful trip. Um, yeah, so we got the Ugly Otters, the Big Bite Baits, and then the two Bandit Crankbaits. Uh, enjoy your guys' Saturday. Stay tuned for more videos.